Welcome to this lesson where you will create a C++ server that gets a request from a Python client to stop the robot. Okay, so to do that, let's open the terminal, Control Alt T, and then we go to the workspace. So the workspace is total. From there, we move to the package, which is Control, and then where we have our C++ code is inside SRC. Okay, now that we're inside SRC, we're gonna create a file and let's just call it stop robot server. Okay, stop robot server and we'll give it an extension of CPP. All right, so we have the stop robot server. We can then, um, let's just make it executable chmod plus x and then we have this top robot server all right so we're gonna go back to the workspace they were in the workspace and then we hope on the vs code but let's just source before even opening vs code remember you can source two ways and then open the vs code All right, so we're just gonna go to our code, which is top robot server.cpp. And like the previous services or service code we've written, it's just gonna follow the same way. The first thing we wanna do is to import or include your necessary head files. So, so we're just gonna include the ROS client library for C++, RCO, CPP. And then the next thing we want to include is the custom service interface that we created in the previous lesson. So to do that, you just put include. Okay, now remember it's under the total control also control and then under SRV and then the name of the file is called stop so the same way you do for messages remember the service file is a capital letter S but if you want to include it in the header file you use a capital a small s okay and then you append the uh, prefix or suffix HPP okay so the next thing now is to create a class. So let's call this class server. Okay, it's just gonna be a basic server. And then we RCL CPP node. Yeah, remember a node is an entry point to you know whatever ROS file you're trying to create so that's why you have a node first okay and after that we're going to create um, access members so the public and the private access members okay so now under the public access members access member we want to create a constructor of the class server so Remember, to create constructors, you just use the same name as the, um, as the class. Then we have the node. Then you pass in the name of the node. So we can just call our node stop robot. Stop robot server. Now, stop robot server. Okay, so we have it here and then we can give it whatever we want to write inside but while we um, while that is there let's go to the private section and then we're going to create a server variable which is rcl cpp and then server or service so the service the next thing after the service is the type that the service is going to use of so the service is going to use a type which is our own custom type total control and then 
which is our own total control and then the scope operator which is followed by srv and then the name of the file which is top okay so after that we put a share pointer okay and then we give it a name so it's just like you're de um, declaring a variable name so just like you have your int x x pin the variable and int pin the type of the the variable is using so in our own case we have a variable called server and then this is the type that server is using okay all right so what we now want to do inside the constructor is to first let's just make um statements using the rcl cpp info remember this is how you log information on ross so you do rclcpp get logger all right and then you put in the rcl now you can put anything here doesn't matter and the next thing is i'm just gonna say ready to stop robot okay so ready to stop robot and then we terminate it so the next thing is to create a lambda function. So we're going to create a lambda function that performs the service task. So it is this lambda function that will be responsible for, you know, the server side of things. So when you make a request, it's the lambda function that will run and then send back the response. Okay. So what we're going to do is to create a lambda function now called auto and then stop robot so the name of the lambda function is top robot lambda function is a c plus plus thing it's not a ross thing so basically we're creating the function that will help us to you know get the request and then send back the stop robot response okay so to create a lambda function you put in the type that a function is going to return and then you put in the name of the function followed by equal to sign and then you put in the this keyword so after this then a bracket okay so this is how you create a lambda function so inside the curly brackets that is where you have your code and then don't forget to end it with the semicolon okay so but then our own lambda function is going to take some arguments or parameters so the parameters we want to put there is the request and response but then this is c plus plus it's not python so you have to declare the type of request and the type of response so the request and response we're going to put here now is a const uh, we're going to put a const request but because the request has its own type so it's shared pointer we're going to make it a shared pointer and then you pass in the type of the request so the type of the request is the name of our package which is total control and then the srv and then remember it's called stop that's the name but because this is a request we're going to pass in the request okay so after that then we close this and then we put in the request name Okay, so we are calling our requests. We're calling, giving it a name basically called request again. Okay? And then the next thing we want to put is the response. So this time we're not going to put a const. It's not going to be a constant. So it's just going to be like something that can change. Okay, so we're going to put std and then share pointer, share ptr, followed by the name or the the type of the service file so the type is con total control srv and then stop but because this is a response we're going to put a response all right so and then we give it a name called response it's just like you're creating a variable and then this is the type of the variable while this is the variable name itself all right so we now have the request and response. So let's just format this code properly. 
Okay. Oh, we forgot the void. There should be void here. Okay. Void. And then whatever we want to put inside the code is just going to be inside the parentheses. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to create a string std str string and then we call the string false so we give it a name state and we call it false okay so then we create a response remember the server the server is the one that will get rest requests from the client and then send a response okay we call it response remember what we have inside stop robot inside stop is stop robot as the response okay so we go back to the code and then we say stop underscore robot is equal to true so basically we're saying when you get this um, request, what, you, what we want you to do is to stop the robot. Just turn this stop robot to true, and then change the um, change the velocity of the front wheel and the rear wheel. So which we are going to print out. So we're going to say rclcpp underscore info, and then we do the rclcpp get logger so because we want to log information and then we put in you know this is just like the name of the logger you can give it any name we can we can just give it stop robot yeah <laughs> we can just give it stop robot so it doesn't have to be rcl cpp all the time okay so and then what it's going to do is this it's going to print out front wheel and then it's going to tell us that it's zero meters per second now front wheel but this is not going to tell us it's zero because um the client is going to handle that okay meters per second all right so this is a placeholder and we're going to put what's going to be into the place inside the placeholder now so what will be inside a placeholder is requests and then the arrow operator followed by front wheel. So this front wheel is going to be gotten from the client. So whatever should be here will be gotten from the client. And then it's going to print it out like front wheel, you know, whatever is here. Okay. All right. So the next thing we want to do is to do the same thing. So I'm just going to copy and paste, and then we do the same thing for the rear wheel. So the rear wheel is going to change its value also to rear wheel. Okay. And then we're going to print something out. So what we're going to print out is let's just use the C++ STD this time around. So C++ std C out and then we say robot stopped. So robot stopped. So it's going to tell us whether it's true or false. So to do that, which is going to put in robot stopped. If it's true, it's going to tell us if it's false. So it's going to say response. No nope. response. And then we put in stop robot. Remember, the stop robot has been set to true on line 15. So when we say stop robot, it's going to say stop robot true. Okay. And then we end with std end line, which is going to flush. Now, what we're going to do here now is when we say, when we say robot stop, because this is true, C, the C out is going to format this true as one. So when we say robot stop, it's going to return one. To make it return uh, a string, 
like something not, not an integer we're going to add something called std bool alpha okay so and bool alpha it's gonna be that way all right so the bool alpha is gonna convert this one to true and if it's if it's um false it's gonna if it's zero it's gonna convert it to false all right so when we are done with that we then want to use the server we created here remember we created a server variable so we then want to use the server variable and say server is equal to this this signifying the node which is this here the node stop robot server so this and then remember that the node is the entry point to you know every other um prop properties of rust that you want to use so we're going to create service and then we're going to pass in the type that the service is using the type is total control which is our own custom type that we created srv and then stop from there we pass in two arguments the first argument is the name of the service the name of the service so we're going to give it a name and call it stop robot service okay stop robot service so that's the name of the service the next thing we want to do is then to pass in what is going to run whenever the service is called so what is going to run whenever the service is called is the lambda function we created so and this is the lambda function so everything is fine but we are not done okay don't forget to put in the semicolon there so the next thing we want to do now is to use our int main remember without int main it's gonna work so why are we having issue okay so this is this well this should be that so we don't need this parenthesis here all right it's fine so we have int main and then it's going to take two parameters the first one is the argument count while the next one is the argument vector okay argument vector and then So now remember if you don't initialize the client library the rc or cpp nothing is going to work so we need to put in r a r g c comma a r g v all right the next thing you want to do is to spin if you do not spin it's not going to keep running your node so you have to spin the node okay um Pin. Then you have std make shared, and you want to pass in server. All right, so it's going to run that and keep running whenever it's needed. Our CLP is shut down. yeah that is all okay now we've been able to use our custom message file by first of all bringing in the header library okay and then we created a class server from the class server we created two access members the public and private so they are access members the private means that this server cannot be accessed outside of this class okay public means that it can be accessed within outside of even outside of the class all right so when we have these two here we then created a constructor so the constructor is the one handling the node which is a stop robot server so from this constructor we 
then create it. We imputed uh, an information just to tell everybody that, okay, when you start this server, it's going to tell you ready to stop robot. And then we created a Lambda function, which I said is a C++ thing. It's not a Rust thing. So the Lambda function takes this format where you have your type and then you have the name of the function and then you followed by this keyword and then you have your uh, parentheses which can take arguments and might not take arguments it depends or parameters so but we have the request and response because we need them in this um, lambda function and then followed by the arrow operator and void then the um, the, the curly bracket which houses you know whatever you want to do when the lambda function is called okay and this will want to do once we'll that the set the state to false i don't even think we need line 14 but let's just leave it there we don't need line 14 it's not it's not doing anything it's not doing anything <laughs> But anyways, let's just leave it there. Okay, so we um, line fifteen get um, changes from false. Remember the default value is false, and then it changes it to true, and then stores it back into stop robot, and then we print out front view is you know whatever value we get from the client, um, whatever um, when when the request is made, the client is going to turn it to zero, and then say front view is zero because we're trying to stop the robot okay and then we also print out robot stopped and then we print out the state of the robot and that's all it's just a simple thing so be, but you know we you need line 22 without line 22 the stop robot service is not gonna work so it's just gonna have the lambda function everything fine no problem but it's not gonna work you need to you know create the service you need to create a service and then after that you you know make your initialization and then you spin the node until to make it keep running and then you call the shutdown in case you want to shut down the node and that's all so the next thing we want to do now is to go to the cnake list so we need to complete some stuff inside cmake list now the first thing we want to do inside cmake list is this let's open CMake list. Now, the first thing we want to do inside CMake list is to make sure we have this line 26, which we got this from the custom message we created and uh, also the custom SRV. Okay, so now we have the total control because it's required on our header file. You can see. All right, so we go to the this one, we make sure that we have our stop robot or stop service and we go to executable from the executable we are just going to copy and you know paste so what we want to paste here now is the name of this which is stop robot server stop robot Oops, server okay and i'm just going to copy and then put it here Okay, so we have stop robot server. But remember, stop robot server uses RCL, CBP, and total control. Those are the required dependencies. So total control. It's not using example interface. Oh, sorry. I changed the wrong thing. It should be this. Total total control all right so we have total control now we need to install the executable we just created and it's going to be here called top robot server now that we have that installed that's fine you know we have our cmake list already the next thing is to build call can build and you know don't always be scared. If there's any error, call compute is going to tell you. Okay, still building. 
yeah there are a bunch of errors we just need to reach out where the error is okay line 13 expected comma so let's go back to our code line 13 oh now this is what happened remember if you have in c plus plus let's say you have an uh, you have void you're creating a function void man or uh, no, void robot and then you have a function and you want to put in um, parameters inside let's say you want to call it x and then y you need to separate them with a comma so that it doesn't look like the same thing so you're just going to do int x and then int y so you need to separate them with a comma so we didn't separate our parent our parameters so it's going to look like the same thing so that's what so we didn't separate it's going to look like the same thing that's where the problem is coming from then we have to again okay. don't forget to always save and then we have another error so line 23 what is going on like oh see line 23 there is no semicolon either okay we go back again and then we build so as i always say it's fine when you have errors like that uh, the most important thing is to be able to, you know, look at the log information and then fish out where the problem is. So it's um, successfully built. So we can run our node now, Rust2, and then we're going to call run, then talk to control. And then after talk to control, we call the name, which is talk robot server. And now you can see it's saying ready to stop robot. So the custom service interfaces we created is working perfectly with the custom uh, with the C plus plus file which is created for the service for the service server. And now the next thing is to create a client that can you know interface with the server make a request and get response from the server okay so that will be the next one and then this client that we're about to create is going to be created in python and then you can see that python can always you know interact with c plus plus because ross is language agnostics okay all right see you in the next lesson